Hi everyone, in this video I'm gonna show you how to make this cardigan. Uh, I start from the top and go like that. And I use this yarn, a uh, drifter iron. And I use 5.5 millimeter crochet hook with that. Uh, that's my fifth ball of yarn and that's the leftover uh, one ball of yarn is 218 yards and it's easy to make you can make it for your size I will uh, explain you how to make it at the video if you are ready uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let's start. I'll start with a slip knot. And make chains. I know how many chains I will make but you can just make your chains and measure it to your um, with your shirt t-shirt. I'll just make my chains and turn. I made ninety two chains and that's good for me. And now yarn over, skip one, two, three chain and starting from the fourth chain I will make double crochets. I will use these back loops. If you want you can use here too because we make a uh, ribbing after finish this uh, cardigan so it's not so necessary. I like to make it like that. In the fourth chain yeah, insert my hook, yarn over and pull it through, yarn over, pull it through from two loops, yarn over and pull it through from second two loops. I will keep making double crochets. At first I want to find how many double crochets I need for one sleeve. So I will make some double crochets and um, use my t-shirt for calculate it. Make some double crochets. I'm at 24 double crochet and I will use my t-shirt or Swiss shirt. I think that will be enough. Twenty. I need twenty uh, double crochet for one sleeve. How will we calculate it? I have nineteen double crochets. I need 20 for one sleeve plus 20 for another it's 40 and I have 50 double crochet left we will uh, 
take the half of it. If we make it 25, 25, that's the back side, that's the front side. Uh, we, must, we must divide it two, but we can't because it's an odd number. So we can make it 24. We can, we can make this one 26. You can always make the back side bigger than the front side because we will make the ribbing to the front side so it will be bigger uh, than the back side. Uh, if you think it like this is back side and that's the sleeves, it will look like that when you crochet it. And that's the front side. That's 26, 20, 20, and 12, 12. Uh, totally 19. That's for large size. Of course, uh, that's with my yarn and my crochet hook. If you want to make it for your size, at first you must find one sleeve. Then you will calculate uh, the rest. Always make this side bigger than the others and uh, think it uh, together, it's 25. This must be the um, smaller part here and here. Okay, our first front side will be 12 double crochet. So I made 12 with this three chain. That's a double crochet too. I made 12. Chain one. And starting from the next stitch, I will make 20 double crochet this time. and 20 chain one starting from the next stitch i will make 26 double crochets that's 26 chain one starting from next stitch make 20 again That's 20, then chain one, make your 12 double crochets and finish this row. Eleven and 12. Chain two for the row two. This does not count as a stitch, uh, so we will make a double crochet into this first stitch and then make your double crochets that's four five six seven Eleven and twelve is here. When you complete your twelve double crochet, you will make one double crochet into that one chain space. Then chain one, one more double crochet here. I have thirteen double crochets here now. And starting from the first stitch, make your 12 double crochet. So starting from the first stitch, make your 20 double crochet. 
20 and I made one here is 21 and I will make one more into that one chain space you will have totally 22 double crochet for one sleeve now and chain one make one more into same chain one stitch and starting from the first one this time make your 26 double crochets that's the last one and I will make one more into that one chain space I have totally 28 double crochet here now chain one into the same space make a double crochet and make your 20 double crochet and when you finish all of them make one into one chain space chain one make one more then make your last double crochet is 12 double crochet I made 12 double crochet now with this and I will make the last one into that third chain it's 13 chain 2 turn make a double crochet in the first stitch and keep making your double crochets this time I made 13 double crochet then I will make a double crochet here chain one and double crochet and I will just keep making like that make my double crochets and when I uh, come here I will make one double crochet chain one one double crochet uh, I will make this for nine inch long I will uh, measure it from here okay just measure it like that when it's uh, when I came to 9 inch, I will stop. It's for large size, of course. You can make it be a little bigger uh, or sh shorter. Use your sh t shirt uh, for this and make your rows. I'll see you. I made 16 rows and it's A little more than nine inches and it's okay we will turn this into a cardigan now I want to show you here at first you see we chain we start with chain two and make a double crochet and when you uh, make the other row that's our last stitch you will not make a double crochet into that uh, second chain don't make it that's our last stitch then chain two turn and starting from the first stitch make your double crochets I complete my double crochets and I will make one more double crochet here then we will skip here all this part we leave for sleeves that's the next one chain space I will go directly go into that one chain space and make a double crochet here then keep making your double crochets finish the back part I made the back part 
and I made the one chain space again I will put a double crochet here and skip all this part when you reach your next one chain space put a double crochet here and make your uh, double crochets for this rest and that's the last one I have 114 double crochets you could have different numbers it's not important from now on just chain two turn and make your double crochets we will make uh, so many rows like that I'm not sure how many rows I will uh, make it and uh, tell you just keep making your double crochets uh, how many rows you want I want to show you here there is no difference just make double crochets finish your rows I'll see you at the end I made 18 rows that's a little uh, short for you maybe you can make it longer as you want oh, I want to make a small cardigan so uh, totally from here to there I have 34 rows and uh, I want to show you the measurements it's 47 centimeters from here and 18 inch long if you measure it from here it's 10 inch I made 25 centimeters and I will give you here too it's 18 inch long 45 uh, centimeters and I made one of the uh, arms and I will show you how I made it now at first we must look at our last uh, double crochet row you see that's wrong side of our double crochet that's the right side so I will start from here and go like that and for this uh, sleeve I start from here and go like that I'm at the right side of my work okay and I will start from the back with a standing double crochet if you want you can uh, tie your yarn here and chain two and make a double crochet into same space and start like that I'll uh, yarn over insert my hook here grab the yarn yarn over pull it through from two loops yarn over pull it through from second two loops uh, that's a standing double crochet and then I'll keep making double crochets just go ahead and turn around this arm then you came here I'll see you by the way where uh, exactly where I start to make our double crochets as you see that's our one chain space under the arm I'll skip this one chain space and start from first double crochet you will make it like that just go ahead I'll see you at this last double crochet here 
I made last two double crochets. I made one and that's the last one. That's the one chain space. I'll skip here and directly join from this first stitch. Chain two and turn my work. Uh, every time for the uh, arms, every time we will uh, turn our work for all the rows. Insert into first stitch and start to make our double crochets. This time I will make some decrease. I will make eight double crochet. Five, six, seven, and eight. This two chain doesn't count as a stitch. Now we'll make a decrease. Yarn over, insert my hook into the next loop, grab the yarn. Yarn over, pull it through from two loops. Leave it like that. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops. I have three loops and complete them together. That's my first decrease. I will make eight double crochet again. And make one more decrease. Then again make 8 double crochet a decrease. Just keep making like that. I'll see at the end. For row 2 I made my last 8 double crochet and I will make one last decrease. Insert here and here. We have a, a, a stitch here. Please don't forget it. For the row one, we had 50 double crochet. If you start same num same numbers with me, you will have two. Uh, and this row, we made five degrees, and I have 45 double crochets now. And join from this first stitch, chain two, turn. Uh, we will sew this part later don't mind this and that's my first stitch starting from here I will make double crochets for uh, four rows that's the row three and uh, we will make one more decrease at the row seven um, just Keep making double crochets. I'll see you at the row seven. I complete the row six with this last double crochet here. Chain two, turn. Now we will make the crease again. Make eight double crochet. Seven and eight. Then make a decrease. Eight double crochets. Make a decrease. 
and for this row you will make two more decrease that just complete them and I'll see you that's my last decrease and I will make five more double crochet it's four and five and join with a slip stitch this time I have 41 double crochets and starting from the next row this row just uh, make double crochets I will not make any decrease from now on from now on I'll keep making double crochets and make uh, I'm at row 8 and I will make 18 more rows it's totally 26 row uh, you will have uh, if you want you want uh, if you want uh, you can make it a little longer uh, it's up to you you can measure yourself you can wear it now and uh, when you finish it uh, don't cut your yarn we will make uh, some uh, ribbing um, so uh, finish your rows and I'll see you there I complete 26 row and then at first I will change my crochet hook turn my work I will make some decrease for this row make four double crochet one two three four and make a decrease Make four again, one, two, three, four, and the decrease. Uh, just make four double crochet and a decrease, uh, finish this row. I made last double crochet, I made four double crochet in a row, and I have one more stitch here but I don't uh, make any double crochet here because uh, I need an even numbers of double crochets uh, I have 34 uh, now and if you have an even number so that's okay I will not turn my work from now on starting from the first double crochet I will make front post and back post double crochets yarn over insert my hook from here front to back and front again around this double crochet grab the yarn and make a double crochet now I will make back post yarn over insert your hook from back to front this time and back again grab the yarn make a double crochet front post back post we we'll count this two as one double crochet front post back post and again that's one double crochet just go ahead and finish this row with uh, front post and back post double crochets and that's the last one And join from the first stitch chain two start with the front post double crochet and then back post front post oh hi And 
and back post. I will just uh, make this row and when I finish this row I will cut the yarn that's enough for me if you want you can make more rows of course uh, I'll finish and turn that's my last back post double crochet join from first stitch make a chain for a secure cut the yarn and that's finish just hide your yarn now we will make a uh, last thing for our cardigan ribbing I'm at the back side as you see I will start from here I'm at the right side of my work and start with a standing double crochet anywhere from here yarn over insert my hook grab the yarn one and two just put a double crochet into every stitch and I'll see you at the corner I came to the corner and I will make a double crochet here that's my last stitch chain one and make one more double crochet then starting from here make your double crochets make one double crochet here one double crochet here one around this double crochet one into this stitch around double crochet into the stitch if you want you can just put two double crochet around this double crochet like that then around the next one make two more if you are a new beginner you can make it like that I like the way uh, this look so I'll keep making uh, this way I'll see you here I'm at the corner again I will make one double crochet around this double crochet and one into this chain then chain one one more double crochet here and this time we will make our double crochets into these chains and when you uh, came here to this other corner just make the same things turn around uh, your cardigan like that I made all the little crochets and join from here I didn't count my stitch chain 2 and start with a front post double crochet and back post double crochet front post and back post and when I came to corner I will put a front post double crochet here I said I didn't count my stitch because of this uh, I want to finish with front post double crochet but, but I'm not sure if you have more stitch here and uh, if you want to finish with uh, front post double crochet because it looks uh, good like that it's not uh, really necessary but it looks good you will eliminate one like that just take these two together 
then take the other one and if you have one more here you can make it a front post double crochet so it won't look so bad And now I will make my front post, then make a half double crochet here, chain one, make one more half double crochet and start with front post double crochet, then back post double crochet, front post, back post. Let's go ahead and put your uh, corners one half double crochet one chain one half double crochet turn around it I'm at the end again and I will have one more stitch here if I made this back post double crochet that will be front post I start with front post don't want to finish with front post again so I will take these two together like that and made a back post double crochet then join from the first stitch I will finish my uh, ribbing here because I'm out of yarn <laughs> but if you want to make more rows when you came here nothing Change, gonna change you will start with front post again and when you came here you will make front post back post then make a half double crochet chain one half double crochet back post front post uh, keep making like that uh, for the other row you will make the same things you want you will make uh, as you want like that and now I'll cut my yarn and hide the tails. And it's finished I hope you like this tutorial if you like please don't forget to push the like button don't forget to subscribe to my channel you can reach me on my Instagram address is Sirin's Crochet and uh, that's it for today hope to see you again have a nice day